everyone, I'm Michelle Warner, concept designer with Fun Stampers Journey. I want to welcome you to today's product spotlight video. I'm going to show you how to use our Create a Palette refillable ink pads. The pads look like this, and when you open it up, you will see that it comes completely blank and dry with five strips. And the idea is, is you're going to create your own ink pad using your own special color combination. Now there's a couple of ways you can ink these up. You can ink them with our reinkers, and you can use our liquid colors. And the only thing I would mention about these two is you're not going to want to use them both on the same ink pad because they have very different formulas and they're not going to mix well together. So our liquid colors are dye-based, meaning they are water-based, and our re-inkers are our fusion blend, which is a fusion of water-based and pigment ink. So let me show you how we go about inking these up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to choose your colors because once you lay ink down into these strips, there is no going back. So there's no changing around. So what I like to do is I like to pull out my paper swatches and I like to sort of arrange them like I knew I wanted a rainbow palette, but I wanted it sort of muted. I didn't want the traditional bright colors. So I sort of played around with these couple of different greens, whatever, and I ended up settling on this order. So let me show you how you're going to ink these pads. This one uses reinkers, so I'm going to grab my reinker and I'm going to shake it really good. And you're going to want to do this because the pigments in this fusion blend do tend to settle, and you're going to want to mix it up really well. And you're going to add the color to the strips, just like you would when you're re-inking a pad that already has color. So you're going to come up to the edge, but be really careful when you're at the edge not to get the color into the next strip. Once you're finished inking all the color, you're going to do each one, then you're going to come back and do a second coat. Because when you're starting from a blank, dry pad, you are going to use quite a bit more reinker than you would if you're just adding a little extra to an already juicy pad. So let me show you how to stamp with these pads. So I've taken this butterfly stamp from the Dreams Follow stamp set, and I'm just going to come right in and I'm just going to ink this one up right here in these last three colors. Now, when you're re-inking, when you're inking up your stamps, you're going to move it ever so slightly to the left and right like this. And what I'm doing is I am blending out the line that separates these ink pads. So it looks like this. Very cute, very pretty. So you can see the orange and the red really just blend seamlessly into each other. Now that's with the color moving across the wings. Let's turn the ink pad and show what it looks like with the color moving up the butterfly. So we're going to put the bottom of the butterfly into the blue and the top of the wings is going to go up in the yellow. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move the stamp ever so slightly up and down to blend out those lines. And here's what that one looks like. Ooh, very pretty. Okay, now, what if you want the wings symmetrical? So you want the same colors on the wings. So the best way to do that is we're going to find the center of your stamp. In this case, it's the body of the butterfly. We're going to put the center of the stamp on the end strip. It could be either side. So in this case, we're going to put the center of the body in the red ink. Again, we're moving back and forth ever so slightly, getting rid of that line. Then we're going to rotate the stamp around, and now we're going to ink up the other side doing the exact same thing. All right, and this looks like this. There, perfect.
perfect. So now we have symmetrical colors in the wings. So I absolutely love using different colors. I think butterflies and maybe perhaps flowers, but I think butterflies is one of the most perfect examples to use on these types of ink pads. It's just the results are so beautiful. So let me show you another example of a pad that I've done. So ombres are all the rage right now. So what I did here with this one is I just set out over all of our purples and I just arranged it in order from, from pretty amethyst to pretty pansy. Now we have lots of different colors in our color palette that this would work with. There's a variety, <clears throat> excuse me, of our greens. We could do it with blues. We have a lot of different options for this technique. And let me show you what it would look like stamped out. So this time I'm choosing the large butterfly in the stamp set. And we are going to stamp him so that the color is moving up the wings with the dark color being down at the bottom of the wings. So we're going to ink it up like this. So I've got the bottom of the wings in the dark pretty pansy. Now, as you can see, his wingspan is past the edge of the stamp pad. So not only are we going to move up and down ever so slightly to blend out those lines, we're also going to move him gently across. So we're moving across and up and down. Now one thing I should mention at this point, don't accidentally boop and stamp up like this because you don't want to mix your dark colors up with your lights. So you're going to want to maintain the same sort of plane of stamping, if you will. Okay, so we're moving that up and down, side to side. This should be fully inked and it's going to look like this. Oh, there we go, perfect. Super, super pretty. I love, love, love how it just seamlessly moves on up the butterfly, the different colors of our pink palette. Okay, so let me show you a couple of examples that we've done. So this card here uses this same muted, whoops, this same muted rainbow palette and this same stamp set. And so I did the symmetrical stamping technique for both of the butterflies. I also wanted to mention that in this really small stamp, uh, don't be afraid to use your small stamps in these creative palettes. It doesn't have to be a large stamp that covers up a good majority of the palette. You can even apply it to something tiny like this. So me showing it, me accidentally opening up a blank one brings me to my next point, which is labeling the palettes. You definitely want to label these because if you put the lid on this and you come back to it in about three weeks, you might not remember which of the greens that you chose. So one of the things that I like to do is I'm a very visual person, so I like to just punch um, a shape out of the card stock and you just adhere it directly under the strip. And if you are fond of your label maker, you can go ahead and do it this way. And if you don't have a label maker, you can even just write it in a Sharpie or whatever thing, whatever, however you want to do it. You want to also um, label the top of the palette so that you can store it with the rest of your inks. So let me show you one last project. And this one actually uses a palette that was inked with the um, liquid colors. And one advantage of using a liquid color palette is you can play around with watercoloring techniques. So for instance, this star is um, die cut out of our water splash paper. And we just lightly misted it. And then you can just take your stamp pad and go directly onto the star just like this. Now make sure you're kind of moving up in the same direction. And look how that is. That turned out really cool. And for the background, we just took the same ink pad and just ran it over, lightly ran it over our embossed areas. 
and came up with sort of a coordinating background for this star. I hope this video has inspired you to use your Create a Palette ink pad. Thank you so much for watching, and now it's your turn to bring paper to life.